Hey, welcome to Mullen Stock. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads. And also remember that this is not a financial advice video. Now let's start. So it looks like the pain is continuing today. So currently down 4.08%. But keep in mind that the broader market is very much selling off already. So definitely, it's kind of correlated. Like I mentioned, video ago, even if Mullen has good news, it goes down. If the market has and is negative, and has bad obviously economic data coming out, then Mullen goes down even worse, and right now the fact that it is at $0.87 does signal that it is currently below this S2 looking at. I believe it is the 4-hour chart on the FIB levels. So $0.89 was a very big support, and that's what it kind of held yesterday. But it does look like a new 52-week, and all-time low is in store for Mullen today, which is very unfortunate. But again, there is no tentative news that has come out today. No SEC filings, nothing along those lines. Just a lot of hope. Once again, what have been sinning around and surrounding Lawrence, because this is floating around on Twitter and stock twits and stuff, and it does show Lawrence saying good news this week. They are still around, obviously insinuating that his team is still in Saudi Arabia. Announcement will be made between Friday and Monday, but I guess he doesn't realize Monday is a holiday. So hopefully news doesn't come out on Monday, because I feel like that wouldn't necessarily be the best, but everyone will be so proud and happy. And of course, he kind of mimics exactly this. So he did say that May is going to be a good month. So once again, you can either believe this or not. This in reality is another kind of similar two-week notice kind of thing, on which it was two weeks, and then two weeks and so forth. That being said, I still do believe that Lawrence has something coming. Just I don't know the magnitude. Is it going to be the big Saudi deal, which the Saudi deal, as what he has said, in case you guys do not know it, is a 10 billion plus contract with the Saudis. But of course, even at that stage, a lot of people didn't necessarily know exactly to what degree Mullen did get that 10 billion. Is it going to be the 51% or is it just going to be crumbs that's given to Mullen? At this stage, nobody knows. But outside of that, I'll just give you guys a quick overview, for instance, of what shorts are doing and as you can see, just based on the order book, you do see a lot of big resistance and support levels. $0.87. There's only one tentative order at that stage. So in reality, nobody is buying like I've been saying but still moving on from that. So looking at short so short score is currently 83. Utilization is at 100% and currently they are increasing around 49,000 shares pre-market. So not too much but still looks like they are still increasing. Cost to borrow is just dropping a little bit. So around 30% change from yesterday. So 236.87% is the average 16.2% of the free flow. It's being shorted, and it works out to be almost 26 million shares, still in the threshold list. So I believe today is the ninth consecutive day, if I remember correctly. But still, no matter what though, I'm just printing it up. I don't anticipate anything happening as a result of that because Mullen has been on the threshold list past the 13 consecutive days. I believe twice already and nothing happened. So again, it is what it is. As far as options activity, looking at the put slash call ratio, ever since the whole reverse split happened, it has been going down insinuating that there has been a lot more calls being purchased. But of course yesterday though was a little bit more of a different story. So I'll give you guys a quick overview of that. So there was $342,000 in premiums, put premiums more specifically yesterday, versus $189,000 in call premiums. So when it comes down to it, like I said, Hopefully there is some news, but I think today is just solely going to be piggybacking off of the hope surrounding Lawrence. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about Mullen's stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.